I'm Simone, the blogger from cheapandchic.net, and this is my show DIY with Simone Heng on mydubaimycity.com. Today we are making these amazing bejeweled rhinestone PVC necklaces. And it's so easy because you basically don't need anything too clever that you need for jewelry making, just things around the house. So what you will need is an existing collared necklace that you can cut a template out of for the shape of the PVC, which we've done earlier. I've always wanted to say that. Need a blade, a sharp one. You can get these at specialist art stores like Emirates Trading in uh, Udmetho area. Some nice ribbon, a paper plate with the gemstones and uh, embellishments in the colors that you want. Some PVC, sharp scissors, and we made a bit of a mess here from our previous project. We had an accident, but this is E6000 glue, okay? Right, let's get started. Okay, start by taking your necklace template, placing it onto the PVC, grabbing some sticky tape, and stick your necklace template down. Once again, this part does not have to be perfect. It's just mapping out the necklace securely on, get cutting. You will have to hold in place towards the end because obviously the pattern will get less and less. Now, the reason I say have a paper plate on standby is because, you know, sometimes you get a little bit of messiness. So in those cases, take the blade, you know, and just neaten things up, make it look professional. Fantastic. So once you have that, that's the collar shape, you take a look at your rhinestones and you basically work out how you'd like to see them arranged. I'm pretty happy with that. So now that you know where you want everything, take your glue. And the thing that I love the most about this glue when you work with it on PVC particularly is that if there's some messiness around, when this dries, you can simply take a cotton bud and some nail polish remover and you literally work your way around it and then pick it off so that you have a perfect finish. And you can see that's what I've done here and there's no messiness around them. Now, while that's drying, you can already move on to creating the slits to put the ribbons in. Literally make a, I would say, eight millimeter slit at the end of the PVC on either side. And you take some ribbon. I've chosen something neutral, which is similar to skin color. Taking this, and you can take that there. On the edges of the ribbon, just to have a nice finish, I would cut across like that, and again across like that. And it's that super quick, I'm just gonna wait a little while till all of those dry and clean it up later with some nail polish remover. But it's that easy to get, you know, a PVC embellished collar necklace, super cheap and chic. 